Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're given a pair of vectors, A and B, and we're supposed to find the direction cosine of the vector perpendicular to A and B. Well, to find the vector perpendicular to A and B, we should take the cross product or the vector product, and then we'll find the direction cosines of it, because if we find a perpendicular vector, then the direction cosines of it will be equal to any perpendicular vector to A and B because after all, a perpendicular vector can be moved anywhere you want, so it doesn't matter where it appears, the direction cosines of any vector perpendicular to those two will have the very same direction cosines. So let's go ahead and find the, the uh, cross product. So starting with A cross B, that is equal to I, J, K, then here we have the A sub X, A sub Y, a sub z, might as well write the general format, and the b sub x, b sub y, and b sub z. So you can see that these are the components of the a and the b vectors. So this is equal to i, j, k. Now a sub x, that's equal to 2, a sub y is 3, and a sub z is minus 1. And here we have 1, 2, and 1. Now let's go ahead and work that out. So this is equal to i times 3 times 1, which is 3, minus 2 times a negative 1, so that's a minus times a negative 2, minus j, because we have to alternate the signs, plus, minus, plus, so j times 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 1 times a negative 1, that's a minus 1, plus k times 2 times 2, which is 4, minus 3 times 1, which is 3. And reducing this, this is equal to 5i. That's a 2 plus 1, that's 3. That would be minus 3j. And 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 1k. And so let's go ahead and call that vector c, the c vector, which is now equal to this right here. So this is a perpendicular vector to a and b. And of course, that would have the direction cosines of any perpendicular vector to A and B. Now to find the direction cosines, we're going to need the magnitude of that vector. So the magnitude of C is equal to the square root of C sub X squared plus C sub Y squared plus C sub Z squared, which is equal to the square root of, that would be 5 squared plus a minus 3 squared plus a 1 squared. So that would be equal to 25 plus 10, that would be the square root of 35. And now we're ready to find the direction cosines. The three direction cosines are the cosine of alpha. Oh, I say alpha, but I write gamma. I do that more often. All right. So the cosine of alpha, the cosine of beta, and the cosine of gamma. It's not a very good looking beta here. Let's try it again. There, a little bit better. And that would be the direction cosine relative to the x-axis, the direction cosine relative to the y-axis, and the direction cosine relative to the z-axis. And by definition, that's equal to a sub x. Oh, not a sub x, because we're now we're dealing with vector c. So that means we need c sub x. So the component of the vector c in the x-direction divided by the total magnitude that would be c sub y divided by the total magnitude and c sub z divided by the total magnitude. So the x component is 5, so that would be equal to 5 divided by the square root of 35, and that would be equal to a negative 3 over the square root of 35, and that would be equal to 1 divided by the square root of 35. Now let's go ahead and work this out. And see what those are equal to. So 5 divided by the square root of 35 equals, and it would be 0 0.845. The next one would be uh, 3 divided by 35, that would be 0 0.507, and a negative, negative 0 0.507. And the final one would be 1 divided by 35, take the square root, and that would be 0 0.169. Okay, now to see if that seems reasonable and probably correct, we know that the square, the sum of the squares of the direction cosines should add up to 1. So let's go ahead and try that. So we have the cosine of beta, 
squared plus the cosine of gamma quantity squared, and that should equal 1, so that's a check. Let's go ahead and see if our answers are reasonable. So let's check 0 0.845 squared plus a negative 0 0.507 squared plus a 0 0.169 squared. Is that question mark equal to 1? If it is, then we probably have the correct direction cosines. So we'll take that one squared plus 0.507 squared plus 0.845 squared equals, and it came out very close, 0 0.9996 equals one question mark, and this is just a round off error, so we can say yes, one equals one, check, we probably have the correct direction cosines, and that is how we do that.